Welkom terug, dit is jou goed vol om buit programma Expresso, net nie op SNBC3. Now, this past week, this year's Nobel Prize winners, they've been announced during the course of the last week, with the announcement of the Literature Prize still to come this Thursday, meaning tomorrow. Now, each of the winners who have been recognised in their field have achieved some pretty amazing accomplishments. Um, unbelievable, in fact. So, our first um, kind of category that we're going to hone in on is for chemistry, and we're going to be talking about our winners, Jean-Pierre Sauvage. So Jay Fraser, Stoddart and Bernard L. Faringa. So let's find out why they won. And this one is unbelievably cool. This trio won for the design and synthesis of molecular machines, meaning they developed the world's smallest machines by linking together molecules into a unit that when energy is added could actually do all kinds of miracles. So these machines that are in fact a thousand times thinner than a strand of your hair sure. included a tiny lift, mini motors and artificial muscles. And this ability to make miniature machines has taken chemistry to an entirely new dimension in fact. And the potential of these discoveries and their usage will only become apparent as we develop and use miniature machines in the future. But this has started something Phenomenal M molecules incredible. that can do so stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Absolutely incredible. Well, next we're going to look at our Nobel Peace Prize category, and the winner is uh, Juan Manuel Santos, the president of Colombia. Now we know that Colombia have been experiencing a 50-year-long civil war that has cost the lives of at least 220,000 wow. of its citizens, as well as displacing close to six million people. Now, President Santos, he's made a resolute effort to bring the war to an end, most notably helping um, to negotiate a peace deal between the Colombian government and the Marxist Revolutionary Armed Forces of Colombia. And despite the deal failing, uh, you know, falling through to a narrow majority of voters, um, just declining the accord. Now, as a result, this accord, uh, um, however, there's still a ceasefire in place. And um, President Santos, he is going to donate $1 million of his wow. Nobel Peace money to um, to the victims that's been affected by the conflict. Uh, and they win, you were saying earlier, about 1.4 million yes, US dollars. Yes, they win about 1.4 million US dollars. Incredible. You take into account the fact that they've actually gotten to the point where they can have an election about this is amazing in itself. Well, seeing as we are on the subject of uh, Nobel Peace Prize laureates, and now we have the opportunity to tap into the mind of a homegrown legend.